what's up? Big Herc 916. Positivity, motivation, never settle for average. Go to BigHerc916.com, grab your bar of soap, wash your ass, don't walk around stinking, or grab you a hat and t-shirt and represent that you're not average because if you're watching this channel, you think outside the box, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to put on my tinfoil hat for a minute. And uh, go back in time. Do you guys remember when um, they first started talking about this whole Ukraine situation? And Russia, what they were really sweating Ukraine about? Do you remember those labs, those bio labs they were talking about that were discovered in Ukraine where they were doing experimenting on various bio weapons? Do you notice that there's no more talk about that? That that's basically been swept under the rug and all we hear about is what we're giving Ukraine as far as weapons to uh, fight Russia with, you know, tanks and missiles and cluster bombs, you know, they're talking about all this stuff, but do you ever stop to think why this whole thing started from the beginning? You remember those labs? I, I, I briefly remember the labs now, and I, I just popped in my head because Robert F. Kennedy Jr. says something about these labs and when I think about these labs, it reminds me of the Bond movie, No Time to Die, where they could create a weapon that a target targets you by your DNA, by your ethnicity. And it's just very suspect when I think about it. And then Blackstone recently acquired Ancestry.com for $4.7 billion, which has all these people's DNA in there. They were just volunteering their DNA to see where they were from and where their bloodline originates from. This shit is really crazy, man. If you really, you know, just expand your mind and put on a tinfoil hat, it is... Uh, Pretty, pretty wild, man. I mean, check out what Robert F. Kennedy Jr. had to say about this. And we need to talk about bioweapons. Well, I know a lot now about bioweapons because I've been doing a book on it for the past two and a half years. And, um, uh, and you know, the, the, what we, the technology that we now have to develop these micro, we have, we've put hundreds of millions of dollars into uh, ethnically targeted microbes. The Chinese have done the same thing. In fact, COVID-19, there's an argument that it is ethnically targeted. COVID-19 attacks certain races um, disproportionately. The, uh, the, 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 the races that are most immune, immune to COVID-19 are because of the, of the structure of the, of, um, the genetic structure, of, uh, uh, genetic differentials among different races of the um, of the receptors of the ACE2 receptor, um, COVID-19 is targeted to attack uh, Caucasians and uh, and uh, and uh, black people. The people who are most immune are Ashkenazi Jews and uh, and Chinese. And but we don't know whether it was deliberately targeted at that or not. But there are papers out there that show the you know the. Um, the racial and ethnic differential and of impact to that. We do know that the Chinese are spending hundreds of millions of dollars developing ethnic bioweapons, and we are developing ethnic bioweapons. That's what all those labs in the Ukraine are about. They're collecting Russian DNA, they're collecting Chinese DNA, so that we can target people by race. Now, when you hear that, and you combine that with um, 
what they say was the bio labs that were destroyed by the Russians. And then you had the ties to American scientists involved in NATO. And now, you know, Ukraine went to hurry up and get NATO involved. It doesn't seem like a big cover up or something more. I mean, this is like some just really big international criminal network of, I don't know what you want to call it, of bioweapons, money, governments being undermined, all kind of stuff. And uh, it's fascinating, but also terrifying because the game that's being played, we're not getting any of the facts. We're getting uh, what they want to give us, whatever uh, script they've gave the media, and basically our participants and the audience watching this unfold on a global scale. We've seen all the stuff that came out about COVID. So if they can create things like this that can target you by DNA and they have a... a index with all the different DNA strains of different people and say they want to get rid of somebody, couldn't they just release a particular bioweapon strain into the air and somebody could just pass out and they can knock out a group of individuals based on their ethnicity or their religious background and Nobody would even know it. They didn't have to, I mean, bullets are outdated. Bombs are played out. I'm just saying, man. This shit is deep. That's the type of stuff I sit around thinking about, especially when I see movies in Hollywood and then you, you know, when they put something out, it's not just for entertainment. I mean, especially a lot of the, the spy thrillers and the, the espionage movies and you know, the movies that involve government agencies. And they do it in front of your face so that you become desensitized and you won't think nothing of it when you hear it in real life. These are the type of things I think about. This is the type of stuff I used to read about when I was in prison. I'm not your typical NIGGA that just gets off on hip hop and the bullshit. I, I'm, I think about things way bigger and how this thing is beyond what most people could even comprehend. This matrix shit is deep. Leave a comment, share. Let me know what you think, man. If you think uh, I got the tinfoil hat on too tight. Hello, my name is Big Kirk 916 and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today, Wash Your Ass Soap. And this one in particular is Butt Naked Scrub, but I also have Festival, Oatmeal Milk and Honey, You're Making Me Crazy, um, Monkey Farts, and all these scents smell very good, they will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself so if you can go to bigkirk916.com you can pick you up a bar and my goal is to help america combat funk go to the herc store at bigkirk916.com and pick you up a bar of soap so you can wash that ass or pick you up some never settle for average merch or some of the muscle up car lifestyle merch we have hats, never settle for average. Got the muscle up t-shirts. We also have the never settle for average tank tops. Got the muscle up car lifestyle hoodies. Got the beanie caps. Hey man, represent. And I know you guys aren't average, so 
pick you up some swag and step your game up. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.